This Rosemont Rosé is a beautiful wine, 100% Chamberson. It lends itself well to a lot of different foods, but the first time I tried it, the immediate thought that I had was broccoli, and I thought of chicken divan. This is a super easy chicken divan that is made in a casserole form with rice, and I hope you'll love it with this wine because it really highlights that flavor of broccoli, and the broccoli really feels like it brings out the flavor of the Chamberson. So we're gonna start with some butter in the pan. I have half a stick of butter, so four tablespoons of butter, and I want to add to that one chopped onion, about a medium onion, so that's gonna give you a cup to a cup and a quarter. I want to let it saute until the onion becomes slightly translucent. Now while I do that, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some steamed broccoli. I took one crown, a nice size crown of broccoli, and I steamed it with a little bit of water and salt in the microwave covered with plastic wrap for three minutes. That gives you just enough steam on this broccoli that you don't overcook it before you put it in your sauce and you don't undercook it. Once those onions start to become translucent, I'm going to add a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. What we're doing here is making a roux with onions in it. So I am going to continue to stir that. I don't want the flour to burn, but I also want to make sure it's cooked all the way through everywhere so that you don't end up with a flour flavor in your sauce. Now once that's cooked through, let's gently add, in a slow pour, two cups of milk. So basically what we're doing here is making a simple bechamel sauce. And I want that to just slightly thicken. And that will take, oh, a minute to two. Just stirring occasionally, making sure that you get all the bits of the browned flour up off the bottom of your pan. Now at this point, little bubbles are starting to come up on the sides of the pan to start that simmering process. As soon as the sauce starts to simmer, it immediately becomes thicker. With this sauce, we're not looking for a terribly thick sauce because we're putting cheese in it. That will thicken it up. Also, we're putting this in the oven, which immediately thickens it. So at this point, I'm going to add some cheese. I want to add about eight ounces of cheese. I have 12 ounces here, and I'm going to save four ounces for right on the top of my casserole. So just stir that in, and you can see how thick it's getting right now in that pan. And last but not least, let's add that broccoli. Again, this is one large crown of broccoli. And just stir it through. And turn off your heat. Now let's just taste this for salt because we probably need some. Cheese has salt, but certainly the cream did not. And I used unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. It needs a good sprinkle. I'm gonna put in about a half teaspoon, that should do it. Now in my baking pan, I have three cups of cooked rice. That's about a cup and a half of rice then cooked. And I have the breast of uh, two chicken breast halves. So one whole chicken breast is the whole chest of the chicken. If your recipe calls for a whole breast, that's what that means. If it's a breast half, then it's just one lobe of the chicken. So I have two full lobes of the chicken that I shredded. Now let me tell you, I tried this with legs and thighs. I tried it with white and dark meat mixed. And for this particular wine, for this particular recipe, the best that I found was just the chicken breast. This is so creamy and delicious. It's sort of like making a broccoli soup and just pouring it over top of this casserole, and it is wonderful. And then let's get that remainder of our cheese right on top. Then I'll stick this in a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes to bake. 
So this amazing chicken divan casserole, it's so easy, it goes together quickly, and you can make it the day before and bake it right before dinner, along with this delicious rosé. 100% chamberson, and just a beautiful blend with this broccoli, chicken breast, rice, and a little bit of light cheddar cheese. Mm. So good, so delicious, and a great weeknight meal.